Welcome to the first edition of Housing Development for the year 2024. Wishing you a prosperous new year. Predictions are beginning to fall in for the real estate sector in 2024. What is in stock for Nigerian real estate sector? Why no one can predict exactly what will happen? However, stakeholders see a positive light in the sector in this new year. Looking back, the housing market has done well despite the many problems faced in 2023. Now let's have a look at the news that made heat over the last couple of days in the housing sector. As always, I am Flora Ani, your housing diva. I will be back shortly. AJ Mortgage Bank has successfully completed the first tranche of 1 billion naira of its 2 billion tier 2 capital issuance through its special purpose vehicle AG Funding SPV Limited. The managing director Ngozi Anyogu emphasized during the signing ceremony at the weekend that the 17.57 year fixed rate note issuance strategically strengthens the bank's financial position and supports various nationwide projects aiming to address the housing deficit in the country. Anyogu highlighted the bank's multifaceted approach to tackling Nigeria's housing deficit involving funding construction on the supply side and stimulating demand through effective public engagement on mortgage benefits, along with providing convenient payment plans. As 2024 beckons, the expectations of many Nigerians are that the new crop of leaders can clean up the Eugene staple in the housing sector. The curtain draws for a new year to begin, and the voice of Nigerians across the length and breadth of the country remains polemic in calling the government to alleviate the sufferings of the masses in 2024. This is due to the fact that 2023 was an unforgettable experience across all sectors of the economy, including the housing industry. Most of the experts in the Housing Development Advocacy Network HDAN WhatsApp group call on the government to avoid political will in the coming year and transform major resolutions and suggestions on that platform into actions. The pertinent issues are housing data and survey, regulating the real estate business to protect consumers, creating an enabling environment for real estate developers, cutting down multiple taxes, repositioning and empowering Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, Family Homes Fund and Federal Housing Authority, creating access for land acquisition, issuance of land titles, amongst others. The anticipated dynamics of the 2024 housing market are influenced by various factors. This analysis delves into the economic trends, mortgage rates, supply and demand dynamics, and the profound impact expected from the newly established Federal Ministry of Housing and Urban Development. One of the primary driving forces behind the housing market predictions in 2024 is economic growth. Experts foresee a continuation of this trend, signaling positive prospects with rising incomes and increased home demand. However, the potential impact of an economic downturn or recession underscores the critical need for stability as it could either bolster or hinder the performance of the housing markets in the coming year. The ongoing delicate balance between real estate supply and demand 
expected to continue includes challenges such as limited land availability, rising construction costs, and an aging population reluctant to sell. This scarcity may drive prices up, posing affordability challenges for buyers and potential gains for sellers. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for anyone involved in real estate transactions in the coming years. My name is Benga Ashafa, the Chief Executive of Federal Housing Authority. Keep watching Housing Program. To read the full details of the news and all the housing reports, do well to visit www.africanhousingnews.com. Moving on, what are Nigerians saying about the challenges experienced in the housing sector in 2023? And what improvement would they want to see in this new year? Let's find out on Voices on the Streets. If you are talking about house, house challenges, particularly in this uh, Abuja, I think the major one that we faced was a uh, demolition that occurred, particularly when this uh, government came in. And, uh, and uh, coupled with uh, 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 the, the price of commodities, particularly building uh, materials that uh, went up, you discover that a lot of people increase their house rentage and couple with those people that uh, their house were demolished looking for where to shelter you discover that uh, a lot of people face many problems many challenges what can be done in the year 2024 i, I believe government should try its best to to improve on the housing scheme was um, just with the cost of living increasing and then my house rent was of course increased um, so yeah that's just it and it was a sudden increase by at least by about a million naira and i realized that my landlord was actually generous because other landlords in my estate did like a two million naira 2.5 million naira increase in 2024 I'd like to see the housing prices come down a little bit because even the cost of like buying homes doubled. My living, look me, and I come to central area to work every day. The, the transport, well, is actually here. Then the house rent is crazy too. And we're trying to survive with uh, the rent and all that and uh, going to work every day. And the children's school fees is actually tough. Actually, the government will do something, yeah, 124, the house rent, let them look into the house rent. So anybody, not everybody can build, can stay, if you have the opportunity to work, but the house rent is very, very crazy. Then the transport, please, let them do something about transport. At least that will be public transport, as in the government bring out and the price will be subsidized. At least, from Lupe to Central Area, I don't know what are people that is coming, I mean, I'm complaining about Lupe, what are people that come from all the way from uh, Guagulada, and all that, so it's, it's difficult. Sometimes you may not even want to come to work because if you don't come to work, your boss will give you a query. So because when you wake up sometimes and see the time you're going, if you're even coming to work along the road, they will come and you will see boys will snatch your phone or they will beat you on top. So it's difficult because you must leave that place you can afford. And if you can't do that, it might mean you're a criminal. You cannot steal. So the best bet, let them do something with rent, seriously. The rent is a, is a very big case in Abuja. I'm a I'm house owner and presently now we are facing a lot of challenges of building new new houses because of high cost of materials. You can imagine a bag of cement is 5,000 Naira plus and these are materials that we could get them 
1,000 to 1,003 and all of those things. People are finding it difficult to build and those people that they want to rent, they also find it difficult to rent because the cost of building and also when you want to put it for rent, you'll be hearing some amount of money and then those are the, they have low incomes. So they find it difficult to be able to rent an apartment. My call to the to the federal government is for them to be able to see how they can harmonize all of this situation and then see how they can put things together and then so that people can find it easy to be able to rent an apartment in Abuja because Abuja has become a central of a city where everybody wants to come and live. Voices on the street there. Some of the challenges experienced in 2023, the respondent mentions are housing affordability, poor access to mortgage finance, unoccupied housing estate, why some are sleeping on the bridges, and building collapse experience in some states. They all wish for a better housing sector this year, 2024. They need housing affordability and accessibility for low-income Nigerians. Let's go for a short break. I will be back. It's good news. Are you a stakeholder in the built environment or you are looking for an authentic, credible source for housing and construction news in Africa? You now have an opportunity. Africa International Housing Show has now created a unique opportunity for you by establishing a full-fledged housing television, the first of its kind in Africa. You can now access information on home ownership, rental, building materials, finance, real estate and insurance, among others. All on Housing TV Africa, channel 149 on Star Time. Hello, my name is Casey Arrest. I'm the Executive Director of the Center for Affordable Housing Finance in Africa. We're based in Johannesburg, South Africa. Please keep watching Housing Development Program. It's a great show. Welcome back to Watching Housing Development. It's the start of a new year. What will the 2024 housing market look like? The housing sector in summary, according to research carried out, states that the 2024 housing market will be a confluence of various factors, both positive and negative. Economic growth is expected to drive demand, while rising mortgage rates and a limited supply of homes may pose challenges. Now that said, let's have a review of 2023 housing industry. I am Bob Wancheng, CEO of iBuild Global, and keep watching the housing development program. The year 2023 came with lots of ups and downs in the housing and construction industry. However, just like every other industry, a considerable amount of activities cannot be overlooked, having seen its great impact in the industry. In January 2023, President Mohamed Buhari commissioned the Family Homes Fund estate in Darmanawa, Kano for 469 families, including civil servants, traders, and other low-income beneficiaries in the state during a two-day walk-in visit. February saw the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, FMBN, commission 25 affordable housing units in Kujé, and also performed groundbreaking for the development of another 130 units at Aviation Village off Airport Road to ensure more Nigerians have affordable housing and deep in home ownership among Nigerian workers. In the same vein, the FMBN in March handed keys to home beneficiaries in Benin via its Goshen Garden City Estate. In a bid to regulate the incessant cases of building collapse, Carbon, during her inaugural general conference, gathered stakeholders who called for professional approach in use of concrete. In May, the Nigerian Institute of Quantity Surveyors, NIQS, FCT chapter, held her 13th investiture ceremony of new executives in Abuja. The event saw the swearing in of the new chairman. Quantity Savia, Abdul Wasiu, Iqbalaye, and other executive members. Shelter of Freak, a pan African finance institution, held her 42nd AGM in Abuja with a view to providing financial solutions 
to affordable housing in Africa. In addition, the Nigerian Institute of Town Planners reiterated the need for sustainable development through proper fiscal planning during a press conference in Abuja. With Mary, July witnessed the largest housing and construction festival, the Africa International Housing Show, AIHS, which featured brands, stakeholders, and organizations in the housing sector who converged at the International Conference Center, Abuja. The Nigeria Mortgage Refinance Company in August held her ninth AGM in Lagos as they doubled mortgage refinancing despite challenges. Likewise, Nigeria got herself new ministers and housing wasn't left out. The inauguration of architect Ahmed Musa Dangiwa as a new minister of housing and urban development is noteworthy in 2023. In celebration of his appointment, stakeholders held a dinner to gear the new minister's mandate for the sector organized by the leading housing civil society organization, Housing Development Advocacy Network, HDAN, in Abuja. In September, the Federal Ministry of Housing and Urban Development moved to collaborate with NPC in providing credible housing data. This was disclosed during a court civil visit by the National Population Commission in Abuja. The minister also received professional bodies like the Nigerian Institute of Architects, NIA, Nigerian Institute of Town Planners, NITP, Nigerian Institute of Quantity Surveyors, NIQS, and a host of delegations including Katsina State Government, led by the Executive Governor of Katsina State, His Excellency Dr. Diko Rada in Abuja, Real Estate Development Association of Nigeria, Redan, in October, held a two-day conference on sustainable real estate projects in Abuja. The theme of the conference was enhancing investment and finance opportunities for sustainable real estate projects. PropTech in November held a two-day conference in Lagos State to explore the latest technology in the sector and proper solutions needed. Another event that rocked November is the African Union for Housing Finance AUHF 39th Annual Conference with a view to harnessing the power of data sharing and innovative technology to address housing challenges. Real maintained a feat as the largest affordable housing financier after leading a high-profile finance discussion and special networking event on end-users finance in Abuja. While the leading housing civil society organization, Housing Development Advocacy Network, HDAN members, paid a cursive visit to the Honorable Minister of Housing and Urban Development, architect Ahmed Musa Dangewa, highlighted his three months performance report in the area of data, housing reform team, among other progress. In December, the Nigerian Institute of Building, NIOB, appointed a new president in person of builder, Alderton Ewa Ewa, who instated his commitment to reposition the Institute for Greater Impact during his acceptance speech at the investiture ceremony to herald the beginning of his tenure as the 22nd president held in Abuja. Likewise, Kenne Nzekwe was inaugurated as the 27th president of the Nigerian Institute of Quantity Surveyors, NIQS, at the Institute's Investiture Dinner. In the same vein, the Nigerian Institute of Architects, NIA, elected Mrs. Mobolaji Adeola Adeni as the president of the institution. Mortgage Banking Association of Nigeria, Umban, held her 20th annual retreat with the president, Mark Yoroki Ebilate, stressing on Nigeria's strength amid global economic challenges, the need to embrace technological evolution. Speaking at the 20th Annual Mortgage Banking Subsector Retreat from December 1 to 3rd, held at the Transco Hilton Hotel, Abuja, the President underscored the crucial role of technology 
particularly artificial intelligence, in navigating the sector's future success. Meanwhile, the Canada-Nigeria Trade Expo held in Canada was a week-long event designed to provide federal, state, and municipal agencies with the opportunity to secure strategic partners in the key and critical development sectors. To wrap up the year is the fifth edition of the Africa Housing Awards 2023, an annual end-of-year dinner to recognize leading real estate and construction companies and individuals who have done notably well in the development of housing in Nigeria and Africa at large. In this country, we are never bereft of policies, plans, strategic documents. We are saying that we want to go beyond rhetoric. We have to make housing happen. But to make housing happen, it's not enough that we have a new beautiful housing strategy, national housing strategy. The question is, what do we need to do differently? What you just need is access to housing. So we need to look at income levels. We need to look at what is really pragmatic and what is doable in terms of what our cost structure is right now and find a way to reduce that barrier so that more people can go in from from rental to home ownership so the topic around affordability is quite critical so for me at the nesg um, part of the work we do is to work with partners in the public and private sector to create shared prosperity for all Residential housing is bigger than the equities market and the debt market combined. We need to really drill down and determine what are the best options forward for really impacting the sector. We need to really lobby the policymakers, identify key stakeholders in the financial sector. As part of the palliative government is proposing to push in effects of subsidy removal, an audacious and ambitious housing initiative should be launched by government, driven by reputable private sector players. Let us work together and build a virus statistics so that when we want to take investment decision we will have the numbers we have the statistics we have the facts and figures to take decisions starting the new year with a positive step of providing low-income owners with low-cost housing they can afford will be a great achievement we do hope that this year the government and even real estate stakeholders will make a conscious effort to build more low-cost houses to increase the housing stock and make more Nigerians homeowners. I will be back shortly. It's good news. Are you a stakeholder in the built environment or you are looking for an authentic, credible source for housing and construction news in Africa? You now have an opportunity. Africa International Housing Show has now created a unique opportunity for you by establishing a full-fledged housing television, the first of its kind in Africa. You can now access information on home ownership, rental, building materials, finance, real estate and insurance, among others. All on Housing TV Africa, channel 149 on Star Time. I'm Debbie Erb. I work for OPIC in the United States and uh, keep watching the affordable housing development program. The rental rate in Nigeria is in a steady rise, which stands to promote the fact that many Nigerians can only afford to rent properties than buying out properties. This is a reflection of the supply-demand gap of affordable housing, and this trend will keep growing into 2024. More Nigerians need to be homeowners this new year rather than being renters. On that note, I wrap up today's episode of Housing Development. Thanks for watching. Do well to follow Housing Development on all social media platforms. I remain your Housing Diva, Fleur Arnie. Happy New Year and do stay safe. <music>